Hello everyone, hello and welcome to June's Hand Reveal. No, um, I'm doing something a little different today. I do a lot of art, as you guys know. You're going to be seeing my fingertips because I actually gesture a lot while I talk, but you guys don't see that normally. So, um, I, I do a lot of art and I like dinosaurs. I'm sure a lot of you out there are like that as well. And I have a lot of friends on Discord who are like that. So, because of those two interests, I am doing this video. So there is a company called Beasts of the Mesozoic. Not the co that's not the company. The company is like Creative Beast Studio or something, but the, the product is Beasts of the Meso Mesozoic. And they do really cool dinosaur action figures with like, you know, movable mouths and poseable whatnot. And I have a couple of these, and some of my friends on Discord have a couple of these as well. Now, I don't always like the color scheme that they get, and I'll repaint it. This guy has had some adjustments. I've made his face whiter. I've done some extra blending, that kind of thing. And um, some of my friends on Discord who also get these and don't like the color scheme want to know how I paint these. So I thought I'm going to do a video helping them out, showing my process, and, you know, maybe you guys will enjoy it too. Why not? So I have Spiclipius here. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. He's one of my favorite Ceratopsids. He's pretty cool. Sorry, the webcam is over here. He's pretty cool. Um, and then I have Wendy Ceratops, who I have barely touched. I did some more I did some more white on his face, but he as well has barely been painted. So, you know, not much there. However, then we get into ones like the juvenile Triceratops, who I have completely repainted. Not an ounce of its original color scheme remains on this guy. He is completely 100% repainted. Sorry, I'm getting used to this webcam and where its range is. So if I go off, off the camera, I'm sorry. But yeah, so it's also not a great webcam, so also sorry. But um, yeah, so he's been completely repainted, as has... Oh, this one's big. Ugh, as has this Pentaceratops. Get the other guys out of the way. So the Pentaceratops has also been completely repainted. So I have some friends on Discord who are like, we want to be able to paint ours too. Can you show us what you do to do that? And I'm happy to do so. I thought I could do a, uh, I could do a video about it. Let me put all these guys down. This Pentaceratops is gigantic. So these are all 1 18th scale. So the Pentaceratops is gigantic. Well, this juvenile ceratops, uh, Triceratops is not as big as a full grown Triceratops would be. And the reason I'm doing this video is because he released new action figures, the T-Rexes, or not the T-Rexes, the Tyrannosaurs. So the painted ones take longer. This is a unpainted one, which I'm happy for, because it means I don't have to get a colored one and completely repaint it over the existing color. I can just get it unpainted. So he's pretty cool. I can move his little, move his little arms. Of course, he's got legs that can move and, and a bendy tail. And he actually goes with my juvenile Triceratops because he, this T-Rex is 135 scale, 135th. So he's smaller than the 118th Triceratopsids. Uh, but because this is a juvenile 118th Triceratops, it actually scales pretty well with my, my 135 T-Rex here. So I'm actually going to paint this guy on camera what i need to remember is this corner of the white is the range of the camera but yeah, i'm actually going to paint this t-rex on camera for you guys and hopefully hopefully you enjoy it uh sorry if there's any additional sounds i have my microphone on my work table and it's full of stuff it's in a wide open room that probably echoes a little bit let's see if i could do something here Ugh. There, those are all my paints. And I have paints behind my laptop too, which you can see the edge of, but I'm not gonna show you my whole laptop. All right, 
let's do that. Let's shift it a little. I actually have the the uh, the webcam is actually on my painting lamp because I don't normally do this, so I kind of had to jury rig something. Um, but yeah, so we're going to paint. I'm we. I'm going to paint this guy on camera. I got him today, so that's fun. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully, if those of you that want to be able to paint things, maybe you'll find it useful. This is just how I do stuff. And um, in case you're wondering, some of you sharp-eyed observers might notice, I do have bent pinkies. That's called clinodactyly. I was born with it. So what that means is my pinkies, this last knuckle, was deformed while I was developing, and my the tip of my pinky sh curves sharply to my other fingers. So I, al I always get asked about that in real life when people spot it, so I figure I'll just go ahead and explain it now so that you guys, you know, have your answer for that. Yes. So the colors I am doing for this fellow, or lady, but I'm going to just be calling it a him because that's what I do, is going to be the green color scheme of the Buck Rex from the Lost World Jurassic Park. Uh, I have a reference image pulled up on my screen. It's not going to be exact, but I'm going to be, I'm going to do something, something fairly close to it. But uh, yeah, apologies for the webcam quality. It's just one I had lying around. Apologies for if I accidentally go off screen in one direction or the other. I'm not used to this. I'm trying to use this white grid on my painting mat as a as a guide of where to, you know, be. So I I'm used to painting stuff because I used to, I or I used to. I still do. I paint like D and D miniatures. All right, Dungeons and Dragons miniatures. Can that even focus? Oh, and that's my cat knocking stuff over. How lovely. But yeah, I paint Dungeons and Dragon miniatures. I paint like little people and I actually brought an example. I paint like dragons and stuff. So I'm quite used to painting. So when these miniature, these uh, action figures came out, these action figures, and I didn't like the color schemes, but I liked the sculpt, I was like, I'm just gonna repaint them. But yeah, so that's my big, super long intro to this video. Going to paint this T-Rex here. Don't know how long it's going to take, but it might take multiple videos. We'll see. If this is the first one, then alrighty. But I have no idea how long it's going to take me because I can't exactly predict how long I'll be it'll go before I'm happy with it. Anyways, let me finish getting set up and then I'll get started on painting. So I had gone through and did the left side of my Tyrannosaurus Rex, painted it, talked, rambled, all the good stuff. It took me about 20 minutes. And it was only afterwards when I checked the audio, the video, I realized sometime between the intro video and this video where I actually started painting, my webcam started picking up noise. Uh, I'm not happy to say the least. That double talking is unbearable. So... Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to do the other side of my Rex and show you how I did it. I was only, I was going to do one side on camera and do the other side off camera. And I guess that is still true, except I did record doing both sides and only one of those sides are actually going to make it into the video. So let me get ready to go and we'll tackle that. I felt like I needed to make this little intro or semi pause in the middle intermission. Oh my God, I screwed up. Uh, clip. So here we are again uh, at the beginning of the other video that I totally screwed up. I had picked out colors I needed for my Rex. We wanted a off-white, kind of a yellowy color, a light green, a medium green, a darker green, and then white and black and we were going to choose other colors as needed, but these were the main ones. And let me show you the work of the video that I had to scrap. Ta-da! No, I'm just kidding. So what I did was paint the, doo -doo -doo -doo, I painted the left side. And I was gonna paint the left side on camera to show my process, and then do the, le and then do the right side off camera. 
but because I screw it up, now I'm going to paint the right side. So let me start off the way I did in the other video first. I start painting with what I call a base coat. It's an initial blocking in of colors to figure out if you like where those colors are going to be. Because like you don't want to do a whole bunch of detail and stripes or spots or other like really complicated patterns and then look at it and be like, oh, I wish I had put more belly color higher up in the rib cage. But now if you do that, you ruin everything you've done. So it's nice to do a, a blocking in of colors and then sit back and look at it and think, do I like the ratio of green to cream, for example, or whatever. So what I did in the other video, and I'll do it again on this video, but let me cover it up real quick, is I did my base coat to f off the Lost World Rex without any of the stripes or anything else, just, just the basic colors to figure out how I liked it. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna do it all over again, but here's the completed section. I will show you how I got here. Um, I plan to do a part two video where I do the stripes, where I do the darker green spotting, where I do the eyes, the mouth. So that'll be a part two. Right now I'm just doing the base coat for you guys, because for some of you, this might be as far as you wanna go. You might be happy with it. So, we're going to switch to our unpainted side. We're going to get our creamy white here. I don't like using a straight white white for the belly because a lot of things, it's usually more of an off-white. This might be a little too creamy. We can always add some actual white in later. I am going to use a very crappy brush. Why? Because he has a lot of wrinkles and scales. And the really crappy brush is good for getting in those nooks and crannies with, with your brush. I've already said all this already, but you guys don't know that. Uh, the paint on this side is even still a little wet, but it's dried enough to where I'm not going to rub it off. So I already started doing some of the belly. But yeah, you just, you just really want to get in there, dig it into those nooks and crannies, get between all those wrinkles. We did hit the undersides of his little, his little arms. Now, according to my reference picture I'm using, as shown on this side, the white doesn't of his uh, lower jaw does not actually quite go up into the lower jaw very much. So we're going to leave that low, low to the bottom. And you're, it's okay to be sloppy. You're going to be repainting over all of this. And for action figures, you definitely want to turn and make sure you get those, those cracks revealed so you can paint inside there, just like that. I'm kind of referencing my other side as I go, just to make sure they match a little bit. Uh, we already did the belly. We want to do the inside of the leg, so we need to need to try and get space in there for our brush. I need to make sure I stay on camera too. But yeah, I had no idea my webcam started recording sound as well as my microphone recording sound. I don't know where that came from. It didn't do it on my initial intro video, so. That's extremely odd, but now I know to look for it and shouldn't happen again. All right, we're going to get the, uh, first we're going to knock all our paint over. Yes, indeed. We're going to get the underside of his boot or whatever this spot on the belly is called. The foot, the boot, the underbelly, the crotch, whatever you want to call it. There we go. We need more of our white. So I know one thing I rambled about in the last video, which of course you won't get to hear, but I'll ramble it about it again because I think it does matter, is um, for one, sorry about the uh, webcam quality. It's not a great webcam. I'm not used to using webcams. And on the subject is, I know people have been asking, will I ever do a face reveal? Now, my thing about, uh, so, Hopefully I don't offend anyone, but I do get creepy comments. Being a woman on YouTube and a woman gamer, I do get creepy comments. Not very often, and a lot of them are th across Discord instead of on YouTube, but I do get creepy comments. And I worry that using a webcam might make the issue worse. I mean, I'm not like super attractive, but I'm not like ugly either, or at least I don't think so, but I don't know. I'm just a little nervous about using a webcam after the comments I've gotten without using a webcam, so it's hard to say. Um, another one is, 
you know, a lot of you say I'm very calming to listen to, I'm very relaxed. Well, that translates over to how I play games as well, like my expressions. I don't make many expressions when I play games. I don't react very strongly when I play games. I don't think a webcam is going to be that exciting because it's just going to be me sitting there looking bored, maybe. Not that I am bored, but I just don't react very much. So it's hard to say that I would be an entertaining webcam. We're going to get the bottom of his toesies here. And we're going to make sure we bring, we want to bring a little bit of this white, oop, off camera, of this white. We want to bring a little bit of that up the back of his legs there. So we're just going to bring some of that up in here, just like so. And for the tail, the reference photo I have doesn't have a lot of white on the bottom of the tail. It's actually mostly green. So we're going to get some more of our white here. And we're going to do the rest of the tail, and then I'll show you the next step. Mm -hmm. I should have brought a drink over here with me. I'm rather thirsty. I've been talking for a half hour, and then I had to scrap the video and talk for more. That's my fault for not checking. Well, I thought it worked because my intro worked fine. My intro, the webcam wasn't recording volume or audio, so I have no idea how that turned itself on. It's so weird. All right, we're going to get the tail here. I know my hand is in the way. I am so sorry. All right, so we have our... Oh, actually, I'm going to do a little bit more on the underside of his ankle right here. I don't normally use webcams, and I don't normally record myself painting, so I'm a little sloppy about this. I'm sorry. All right, so now that we got his belly done, we're going to take our light green color, and we're not going to clean the brush. Let me repeat. I don't clean my brush doing this because I want a natural blend of color and you get a natural blend of color if you you know mix the colors so I do this while the paint is still wet and I do it without cleaning my brush so we're going to get our green and everywhere where the green and the white are going to blend I put this light green down and I go a little bit over the white and a little bit over the gray kind of like a, a mix you're mixing it we're going to get his little, his little teeny tiny arm here and his shoulder and up into his neck. Again, we want to make sure we tilt so we can get in the cracks, the seams between his parts. And we're going to just cover his face, his chin, his neck. We're going to do all of his face. I'm trying not to get too much inside his mouth and teeth, but we're going to repaint over that anyways. And up here. And then I'm going to do a strip down the back because in the picture, the Rex has, uh, the male Rex in the movie has stripes down the back, kind of yellowy stripes. So we're going to put this light green there as a base for the stripes to be at because it's easier to paint light color on top of light color than try to paint a light color on top of a dark color. So if we put this light green across the back, as you saw I did on this, as you see I did on this side, it gives us a firm spot to uh, do the stripes without having to try and paint it on top of like really dark green where it's going to be harder for it to, to take. We need some more paint. There we go. But yeah, so I'm just going along wherever the white, the border of the white is, I'm going along with the brighter green. I'm off screen again, sorry. Still getting used to all this. Do, do, do. I'm gonna get his toesies. And we can always put the dark green on top of the light green anywhere we want. So it's, I mean, just because you're doing it this way doesn't mean it has to stay this way. That's part of doing the base coat is to figure out where you want colors to be. And if you don't like where the colors are after doing the base coat, you fix them. So we're gonna get his little feet. And it's okay to be messy, because this is just to see where the colors are going. Ah, stop knocking paints over. And we're going to make it pretty later. So we're going to do the underside of his, or the, the rib edging of his tail now. Sorry about any noises of my palette. We need a little bit more green. Oop, this green is getting very low. I'm going to have to buy a new one soon. So the kind of paints I'm using are Reaper Miniature Paints. They're also the people I 
paint, most of the miniatures are paint are from Reaper miniatures. So really nice paints. I really like them. Really affordable. Well, affordable compared to some other paints in the in miniature painting industry, which can be quite expensive. And yeah, there's not a lot of the white on the tail tips, so we're going to just paint all of that the light colored green. You can kind of see how it blends on its own without too much effort from me. All right, so we want to make sure, see? See, if we didn't bend that tail, we never would have seen that giant green uh, gray missing spot there. So we're going to make sure we paint that up. I'm trying to make sure I don't block the camera with my hand, but it's hard. Okay, so I'm going to take my dark green now. And again, I'm still not cleaning my brush. I like a dirty brush. And we're going to paint the middle section with the dark green while the light green is still wet. So again, we get a natural blending here. I know the camera's probably making it shiny, but you'll see in a moment. But yeah. And we're gonna go up into the stripe area and over the hip. Gotta tilt the neck, make sure we get that little nook and cranny. We're gonna do the tip of the arm too, why not? I don't really like the super bright green arms, so we're gonna make those darker green. Let's get this hind leg done. I keep wanting to hold it close to my face when I need to have it under the camera, so that doesn't work out very well. Do it on the front of the knee. A little bit. Sorry, I'm doing the leg down here. Let's get the side of the neck. And we're actually going to do most of the face in this color. Because his face is actually pretty dark. Except in the reference photo I have, he has a paler... Uh, uh, the Fenestra, whatever it's called right there. His is actually kind of pale. So we're going to leave that light colored. And paint around it with the dark green. Now, like I said, this is, for me, this is just the start. This is the beginning, not the end. Doing this is the very first step to making a complete um, paint job. So there we go. We got that. Now we just got to do his uh, lovely tail here. I need more of my dark green, though. Yeah, video two, which I'll do later. After I do this, I need to let my voice set because I've been talking for like an hour and only got half of that actually recorded. And uh, But when I do part two, it will be the stripes, it'll be the spots, it'll be the modeling, it'll be the fancier things you can do after the initial base coat. It'll also cover eyes and mouth and stuff because I do those last, so I can't exactly do those first. But yeah, so we're going to just... I'm also going to do the base in the next one because he, he has a nice little base here, but... We're not going to paint that yet. But yeah, we're going to do his tail all the way down. All right, there we go. It, I did that three minutes faster than the uh, ruined version. Now, ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at that big old gray blob right there. That's not good. We need to paint that over, which probably means on the other side. Oh, yep, there it is. We're going to paint that over, too. So he's going to have some broken legs for our... Oh, no. It's okay. If you make a mistake, just use your fingers and wipe it off. And everything can be repainted. you got to remember that. Everything can be done. What is it Bob Ross says? There are no accidents. There are whatever. I don't know. Happy accidents. Happy little cloud. Happy T-Rex. Ra ra ra. No, but um, there we go. So there are, I've done it again. I've got paint all over my hands. I've done the next side for you guys. His poor legs are broken. I'll fix those real quick, just for the end of the video. All right. Let me clean my brush real quick, though. Where's my where's my water pot? There it is. Sorry for any clinkings. Do, 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 do. Even though I don't like to clean my paintbrush between uh, painting layers, I clean afterwards because you do not want paint to dry on your brush because that kind of ruins it and and not in the way I want my brush to be ruined so there we go I have now done the left and the right side of him this is just the base coat to figure out where my colors are going to go for some of you that might want to learn how to paint 
this might be as far as you get until you do get a handle on how to paint. But uh, the next video will go over how to do stripes. I'll do the darker gray modeling, the eyes, the mouth, the claws. I'll do all the more fancy stuff. But for this video, for now, this is it. And thank you for watching. I hope some of you enjoyed. Um, I know it's kind of a weird video. But, of course, there's more gameplay videos, more Path of Titans, all that. This is just something extra. Um, those friends of mine in Discord, who I made this video for, so that you can paint your own action figures, if you have any questions, you know how to contact me on Discord. Ask me questions. I will be happy to elaborate on stuff or, you know, whatever. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I'm going to go get a glass of water because I'm not used to talking this long without a break or a drink. And I didn't bring one over here with me. And I, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And eventually, whenever I do it, I will see you in part two to finish this guy. Bye-bye.